to another edition of Lessons from My Mentors. I've been so blessed to have so many key mentors. And as you know, by now, I'm talking about formal mentors with a contracted relationship that it's just, you know, the, the key to so much of who I am today as a dad and as a professional just across the board. And one of the early things that I learned from a mentor is the power of forgiveness and the necessity of forgiveness. And I, I learned this from a spiritual mentor whose son had been killed, murdered, execution style. This was back in Colorado and the son was a key witness in a upcoming murder trial. And so, you know, uh, sort of this mobster type situation and they knew who he was and how to find him and they found him, tracked him down and again, killed him execution style. And so I watched my mentor go through this process of forgiving the individual that killed his son. You know, he's like a college student, had the whole life in front of him, just a good person, you know, contributor to society, all that kind of stuff. And is so, so tragic. And, you know, me, I was like, I would, you know, I'm going to find that person and kill him, you know, revenge and all that kind of stuff. And he took a different route of you know, forgiveness. It was like really in your face forgiveness. Cause it's easy to talk about philosophically until something like pretty significant happens to you. So I think one of the key lessons, you know, that I also learned from about forgiveness is there's a couple. One is that when you forgive others, you're actually releasing yourself more than you're releasing them. When you don't forgive, you put yourself in prison with that person and you're both miserable. And instead, when you forgive, you let yourself out of prison. They need to deal with whatever they need to deal with. You can't control that. But what you can control is forgiving others. Now, of course, forgiveness does not mean that you accept that behavior and everything they did was fine. Of course not. But uh, nevertheless, it's still really important to forgive. And, and I'll go into some examples. And the second thing is, man, I've been forgiven so much that how could I not forgive others? You know, I, I don't I don't go too much into spiritual aspects here, but you know, I know that without God in my life and all the things that I've done, you know, and been forgiven for, you know, I've received this grace and this mercy. And then, so how could I not forgive others? Their trespasses are so insignificant in the big scheme of things. So those are the two things that I sort of use to guide this whole process, but it's hard and I get it. You just live life even as a kid and you're going to run into situations where your, your philosophy or forgiveness is going to be challenged. But I've met so many people that, that are so bitter and unhappy because someone did wrong to them. And yeah, again, you feel bad. The wrong is that's bad. You know, that, that should never have happened. And those people are, 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 should receive appropriate punishment for doing whatever it was that they did. But these individuals who were impacted, who were offen the offense made to them could never let go. And so they're just angry. So if you ever run into angry people, a lot of times I just feel bad for them because I know something must have happened in their life pretty deep and they were wounded and they just never got over it. So it's really key to enjoy life and career and all that kind of stuff to really walk in a spirit of forgiveness. The other mentor, informal mentor, my dad. And so I, many of you know the story, my parents are, are kids of the Holocaust. And my dad in particular is a concentra concentration camp escapee. And my parents never, I don't recall a time where they ever blamed, oh, those Nazis or, you know, blame the situation and were like really unforgiving to the point that they were paralyzed and couldn't move on. So they went through life and were very successful in life and raising seven children and those sorts of things without ever blaming someone else or, or society or culture. They never blamed anyone. I, and I always, I watched that because I thought about it as I grew older, you know, and I studied the Holocaust, things like that. And I realized, oh my gosh, that was my parent. My parents were in that. And, but they don't, they forgave and moved on. And I, I, I'm convinced if they had not forgiven, they'd still be stuck, right? And then just blaming, there'd be a victim, but they never 
did that. They never played a victim card of any sort. And it was all because they forgave the terrible situation. In my dad's case, well, in both cases, just horrible. You know, my whole family wiped out concentration camps in Auschwitz. And on my mom's side, you know, her dad was taken away and conscripted into the German army and died on the Russian front, you know, a few weeks before the end of the war. And just so tragic, you know, and then she ended up having to, you know, help her mom raise her brothers and just tough, you know, gave up school, gave up her dreams, you know, both of them terrible situations. But again, they, they just forgave. So I sort of raised under that. Um, and so, yeah, I've been wronged for sure in the workplace and we all will be. It's just a matter of time. And sometimes it's grievous. Sometimes it's not so grievous. I, I've been I've had a couple situations that kind of tested my my theory on forgiveness. I had a situation once and again, I can't go super specific because that's really not the point. But I just want to tell you that I've been there and I practiced what I needed to do. Um, yeah, I had a couple of key people conspire against me, like in a really bad way, like really demonstratively conspire against me and in the background and all sorts of little secret conversations. And, um, you know, it was one of those things where they were, they wanted to be CIO so bad and they thought they were next in line. And then here comes Ed. I didn't take it personally. It could have been anyone coming in from the outside and they didn't get it, you know? So they were doing everything they could to try to destroy whatever I was trying to build. And, um, and so had to deal with that which took a lot of time and energy and focus while you're trying to do some pretty amazing things. And, you know, I forgave them and, but they're still really bitter people because probably stuff happened to them and they've both all their dreams that they had lost out on because of that bitterness. But I had to go through that same process of forgiveness. It's like, man, I just always feel bad for those people. Like something must've happened in their in their life, you know, that, that made them that way and just forgive. But again, it, it doesn't mean that, that you accept the behavior. Obviously you take action and things like that. And on the personal side, you know, sure, of course, you know, everyone has to go through and I've been wrong on the personal side, but again, I just forgive. And that way I can just move on. So that that's really about it. There's not much more I have to say on it, although it is super critical. I mean, I think every, almost everything maybe everything hinges on this concept. So, so as I speak, if something came to your mind about someone who did you wrong and you're mad about it still, really think about forgiveness. Um, if, if it's something you've been struggling with, you know, sometimes you might have to, maybe you wronged someone. And I realized, you know, when I had the spiritual moment that, geez, I was such a ass to people. I went back to those people. I really did. I looked some of them up. Some of them went back to high school and I found them. And I said, I was sorry. I was like, man, I was just a kid back then. I don't know what I was thinking. And I, I did these things. I said these things. I'm really, really sorry. And, and I did it in my, from my professional life as well. Again, my personal life. And it just brought a cleansing to me, you know, and hopefully it freed them too. If they still had bitterness or anything like that. Um, I think it did help some of them. Some of them just forgave me and had already forgiven me. So it was like a non-issue, but it was important for me to do it. So I, so I challenge you two ways. And that's what my mentors did to me. And hence why I speak to you. If someone came to mind that a hurt in your life, someone has wronged you at work or at home or personal life, forgive. Forgive them. And the second thing is if someone's brought to mind where you've wronged someone and never went to them and told them you were sorry, I would do that. I'm telling you, there's nothing like living free and having none of that extra baggage to deal with in life, knowing that you're forgiven and you've forgiven. That's really a simple message, but really tough. Good luck.